Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah, and today we, we will be reviewing the new skincare line that just came out by Catherine McBroom from the Ace Family, and I bought it about almost three weeks ago, and I've been using it for a little bit over two weeks, and I just want to give you guys a quick review, what I think about it, how it works for me, and, you know, just my opinion for anybody that's wondering. So just stay tuned. We're going to jump right into it. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is what it looks like. This is exactly how it came in from the mail. Um, I really wish that you know, this one comes in another box just because it was it's just too flimsy to me to be mailing it like this and you know during the holiday season people don't really care they're just gonna be throwing your packages so I really wish that they, they, there was like an extra cushion to the packaging so she came out with the skincare line 1212 gateway and she had like a whole video on her YouTube channel telling us about you know the name and how this all came about so if you guys don't know about it do check out her youtube video and see how she came about with this um product i watched the video on there so i got like a little background of what it's about so it's pretty interesting and at first i'm like another celebrity youtuber beauty cosmetic line and i was like oh my dude is this a scam because some some of them just doesn't really work and i was like you know what i'm going to try it out myself and see how it goes so and i'm a really big um skincare person i love skincare so this is what it looks like on the inside this is their um gift set i believe for 99 dollars, and it comes with a cleanser an eye cream a, a lip balm moisturizer and a beauty oil so it was about five items in there that it was retail for 99 dollars for the whole set these are more of like a sample size but it's bigger than regular sample size in a way you know what I mean and you guys don't mind my lighting like my son broke my ring light so it's like it's just all over the place and then it's super gloomy outside today because I live in Chicago and it is snowing and I love the snow I personally do not mind the snow but it's just really dark outside so like my lighting is not the best and yeah so that's the reason for that but I will go in with the cleanser as well and I will tell you guys a little bit more about the product as well as we go along so I just got my face wet I'm gonna be using this cleanser so this is called a galaxy foaming um, cleanser this is about 1.18 fluid ounce so packaging is definitely really like high quality not flimsy at all Okay, you guys, so I just got done with rinsing out, washing my face from the cleanser. And the cleanser is probably my favorite um, product in this whole collection. Like, it's not it's not really greasy. It doesn't really leave, like, a greasy residue afterwards or, like, an oily one. It really does remove your makeup. And trust me, like, I had on a full face of makeup. And this is, like, the first cleanser that I've used that really melts away and cleanse all the makeup. I went in twice just because I like to double cleanse. But I did went in twice with it and to remove mascara, eyeliner, foundation, like, everything. Like, it really did remove all my makeup like so nicely and I was just like wow like this is the first cleanser even my favorite cleanser doesn't remove it like this so I really enjoyed this cleanser it leaves it very fresh smooth soften your skin and just brighten it up just a little bit so that's why I give this cleanser a 9 out of 10 like this is like I promise you guys this cleanser is definitely worth the money and I really do enjoy this cleanser so now I'm going to be talking about the eye cream so this is what it looks like so this eye cream is about 0 0.42 ounces. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that. That's cute. I'm a really big moon person, so I like anything to do with the moon. But yeah, this um, the packaging is cute as well. So this is what it looks like. And you guys, like, I promise you, this is less than half of the jar. Like, I really feel like they didn't really need to use such a big jar for such little product. Look how little the product it is inside. It's barely halfway. It's barely halfway. And I feel like it's just such a waste of um, packaging. You guys could have went in with like a more compact one for this one. So 
So this under eye is just an okay product to me. Like I feel like it doesn't really do much for me besides hydrating underneath my eyes and smooth it out for makeup to be applied on top of it. But besides that, like my dark circles are still there, which is like, you know, I get it. I get I have really dark circles, so I'm not even tripping about that. But besides that, like I really don't see not much of a change from using this eye cream underneath my eye besides letting it's creamy and it's not super thick. It's um it really did smooth out my under eye and just keeping it really hydrated so I can apply makeup on and it doesn't look crusty underneath my eye with makeup on there. So that's the good thing. But besides that, I feel like it's just an okay product. I feel like there's other eye cream out there that would do the same thing for a little bit cheaper. You know, I'm not super like, oh my god, must have, you know. But it's it's also pretty decent. So alright guys, so next is the moisturizer, and this is what it looks like. It's also have the same packaging as the eye cream. This eye cream is 0 0.56 ounces and Okay, you guys, so the same thing about this product. It is kind of like the eye cream with the packaging as well. Like, I haven't, I've only been using this for about two weeks, and I just feel like the packaging could have been, like, a little bit smaller just to fit the product nicely. But this one is not as bad as the eye cream. The eye cream is literally, like, less than half of the packaging. And it's, like, in such a big container. Like, I feel like it's just a little bit deceiving that way. But overall, I also like this, um moisturizer as well it is very it's not super greasy but it is pretty thick so just be careful because it can get greasy if you apply too much on but a little does go along with it is very hydrating for the skin it soften your skin and make it really smooth but overall i also like this moisturizer not a must-have but definitely a decent moisturizer to have as a beginner kit all right you guys so now up to my next one is the lip balm So with this lip balm, this is probably my least favorite out of the whole collection. Like, I do not like this lip balm at all. Like, it doesn't really do nothing for me. And it, for some reason, it makes my lip feel like this grainy um, texture on top of my lip. And I have tried different lip balm before, like, even, like, really cheap ones. And none of them have ever left my lips feeling, like, grainy. And I really do not like that. And for the for the price, I think it's not worth it at all. So least favorite. It's just horrible. It really highlights my chapped lip as well. And it's just not worth it for the amount of money that they are selling this for. So definitely a no for me. All right, you guys. So now it's time for the beauty oil. This is what it looks like. This beauty oil is about 1.2 fluid ounce. I also follow her on social media and she was telling people how you can also use this on your face, body, just anywhere really. But she doesn't really highly suggest it on your face. I use this for my body and I like it. So this is like, oh, it's really oily as you guys can see. But I use this for my arm and I really do like it right before lotion. I feel like this is probably like my next like favorite out of the whole collection as well the oil is really nice it's a, then again like you know what it's not a must-have but it's just it's compact and it's just really cute and you know it's decent to have yeah but overall yeah it definitely help make your skin look really shiny and healthy and it does moisturize it give it some type of like hydration but it's like really nothing special like you can Get the same thing from any regular oil that you guys use baby oil or anything like it does really the same thing so it's not like a special product or nothing but i guess it's just cute to have with the kit the whole collection is pretty decent i think for the price it's okay it's not too expensive like it's between it's kind of in between drugstore and high end so it's like right in between for the five products that you are getting I really do enjoy the cleanser the most like I really like it it does really remove my makeup like beautifully and leaving my skin looking so good afterward just so fresh and clean but besides that one the moisturizer and the eye cream are great products as well it's really it get the job done and you know it's okay like it's nothing special where you must 
have like I must buy it the body oil I really do like the body oil I just like that it's so compact and it's just like really cute packaging and it really does hydrate and get your skin looking shiny and it's cute you know but like but it's not like a must have either but it's nice to have you know what I mean and the lip balm I definitely will not be getting this or recommend this to anybody I hate it like honestly I just think that this is just the worst lip balm I have ever tried and the only thing I don't also don't like is that the the packaging for both of um, the eye cream and the moisturizer is just a little too big for the product like the moisturizer wasn't too bad but the eye cream is like literally like not even half of the jar and it really like I feel like it shouldn't be this big if you guys are just gonna put in that little amount like just get a smaller one that fits that like I have travel size or even sample size from different brands before that literally just have like really small one but it fits it's not deceiving like I thought I was gonna get a lot out of this but I really didn't well, I was really shocked when I opened it I'm like this is how much y'all giving me and y'all putting it in this big ass container mm -mm. now I just feel like that was just misleading and just really like I feel bamboozled you know what I mean like for a YouTube celebrity first launch of her skincare I really think it was a success it's not that bad it's just like really small things that need to be revised and overall it's a great brand and great product I can't wait to see what else she got in store because I know she said she will be releasing some new skincare items so I'm actually kind of excited to see what she got going on and hopefully I will also be purchasing it and see how it goes and give you guys another review on it. I've been using this serum, this Tatcha Dewy Serum that I really, it's just giving me like the ultimate hydration and softening my skin like so amazingly. Let me know down below, do you guys want to know my like all time favorite 2020 skincare products? Like I would love to make a video. Like I have so many that I want to show you guys so I might just make it anyway. Anyway you guys do like, share, comment on my video. Also follow me at Sarah Secrets on Instagram and to watch my little videos on there and you guys thank you for watching i will see you guys next time